to show you how to, how to set up your composition notebooks for our Writing Across the Curriculum program here at Holbrook Indian School. First of all, you're going to have a composition book. Your teacher will provide that for you. So when they give you your composition book, you're going to need a ruler, and you'll want some sort of a pen or pencil with which you can write. First thing you need to do is you need to write your name right here on the composition book. You also need to write down the class because you will have a composition book for each one of your classes. It helps to keep confusion at bay if you have your name and your class. Another great idea is if you take a Sharpie and you write the name of the class up here at the top. So let's say that this one is going to be for U.S. government. And it is Cherise. Notebook. There we go. I wrote it right there. USG and Shri. Next, you're going to open it up, and once again, you're going to write the name of the class. USG for US government and your name. It helps avoid confusion. So, the first thing you're going to do is you will lay your ruler along the first page about a centimeter above the last line and trace over that pink line. Next, you're going to go about a finger's width away from that line and you're going to draw another line. Once again, starting at about the same spot. Then, you're going to draw one more line, once again, about a finger's width away from your second line all the way down to the bottom. Then you're going to go over to this faint pink line that's kind of showing through from that other page. And you're going to draw the last line by tracing that line. Once you have that finished, you're going to write up at the top in the middle. First, quarter, index. Then right here, you will write page, date, code, title, and grade. And all of these things will make more sense later on as you start using your composition book. Then you go to the second page, and you'll see the problem of using a Sharpie. I'm just using a Sharpie because it is working better than my other pen, but yeah, it can bleed through. So go ahead and draw another line here, go about a finger's width apart, draw your second line, draw your third line, and then draw your fourth line over here by tracing the pink line from the other side. And then here you're going to write second quarter index. Now here you write page, date, code, title, and grade. Good job, you're halfway through with your index. Now you're going to repeat those steps for the third quarter index. Trace the pink line. Fingers width away. If you have a really, really wide finger, you might want to measure it out. If you have a thinner, a really thin finger, you might want to measure it out. And here's our fourth line. And this is our third quarter index. Page. Weight, code, title, and grade. And yay, we're on the last one. Draw our first line by tracing the pink line. Our second line about a finger's width apart. Our first line, our 
third line with about a finger grip away from the second line, and then a fourth line. If you're tracing the pink line, you can see through the back. And then you'll write. So let's put an index in page, date, third, title, and grade. Excellent. Now you're finished with your index. Now comes the fun part. Now you get to figure out whether or not the manufacturer gave you all the pages it promised. See, it says 100 sheets. Now we're going to check and make sure that it really has 100 pages. Just kidding. That's not really what we're doing. But we are numbering all the pages. And we will find out whether or not they gave us the right number of pages. We have discovered over the years that some composition books have more than 100 pages and some have fewer. So, right here in the upper right-hand corner, just start writing down page number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get the picture. It might be boring, but just do it and get it over with because and then you will find out whether or not you actually got your 100 pages. Now here's a bonus question for you. What number, what page number should you end on if the manufacturer gave you the exact number of pages that you paid for or that we paid for? It should be how many pages? You do the math. All right, you've done it. you set up your composition book. Your teachers will explain how to use it during the next couple of days of class.